Now your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Kevin Dew. We're just waking up with some cloudy skies this Thursday morning after a very sunny day yesterday. Had a lot of clouds move in overnight and out ahead of a storm system that is currently knocking on our door here moving through parts of eastern Iowa right now. You can see a lot of lightning signatures here on our radar too indicating that there are a few embedded thunderstorms within that system. Lots of pockets of heavy rainfall. That's what's headed our way and will be here just within the next couple to next few hours. So this rain will likely start to move in around the noon hour from the west here and really fill in over the next couple of hours and then from there we're expecting scattered to widespread showers through pretty much the rest of our Thursday. We are expecting, as we saw, a few embedded thunderstorms as well. Nothing too strong, but we could definitely see some pockets of heavier rainfall, that's for sure. Uh, overnight tonight, this coverage of the rainfall will likely break up a little bit, becoming a little bit more isolated in nature. But then heading into Friday, scattered showers will be back. This time, not expecting any thunderstorms and better within there, but still could see a little bit of heavier rainfall here and there throughout the day. And this rain will likely last through about Friday evening, tomorrow evening, before it finally moves off to our southeast. And then we're going to see some drier air being introduced to the state line from the northeast, and that is going to help clear things up through the night and actually lead to a very sunny start to the weekend on Saturday. Now between now and the end of tomorrow, most of the state line can probably expect to see around a half an inch to an inch of rainfall, which is very good news for us considering how dry our conditions have been and, and uh, the fact that most of the state line is technically under drought conditions for the time being. Here's a live look over the Poplar Grove Airport using a Mercy L sky track. See those guys certainly ready to drop some rain. Thick overcast right now. That's about all we are seeing, but it is awfully chilly out there and very breezy, which is making making that chill feel a little bit worse. 54 degrees currently in Rockford, 51 in Freeport, 49 currently up in Monroe, and 52 up in Janesville. Now, since the sun has risen several hours ago, these temperatures really have not moved at all. Uh, the uh, sun is not helping us warm up whatsoever. That wind is really helping to keep temperatures very steady. So this is a lot cooler than where we were just 24 hours ago, anywhere from about 15 to 20 degrees cooler to be in fact. And then as the day goes on, these numbers will just continue to drop as uh, temperatures are going to remain fairly steady through the next se uh, several hours, most likely. Then we're also seeing a very good breeze out there. This is a very cool breeze coming out of the east and the northeast. Anywhere from around 15 to 20 miles an hour, most of the area is seeing in sustained wind speeds. Gusts are even stronger, and eventually we can see wind gusts upwards of around 30 to 35 miles an hour through much of the afternoon and evening. Temperatures should only be reaching the lower 60s. That's here in Rockford. Most of the area, I'm thinking, is going to stay in the upper 50s. And uh, in addition to that rain and and a storm uh, system moving on through as we just saw. It's also going to be a very breezy day. That wind is actually going to remain about just as strong through the night as that rain likely continues as well. Lows dropping into the lower to middle 40s. Tomorrow's going to be even cooler, only reaching the lower 50s for highs with that rain continuing on through our Friday. We do uh, recover a little bit in temperature heading into Sunday, getting into the upper 60s with plenty of sunshine. A few more clouds overhead for Sunday and for Monday, but temperatures are back in the 70s. Now following tomorrow, our next rain chances should hold off until after the holiday.